So here we go. Now we're going to be stepping on to uh, part three for this video, and that's actually spraying the top coat. And, the, and there's not a whole lot of difference when it comes to spraying the top coat versus the, the primer, the PVA primer, except that I'll be spraying a lot slower and getting it on really, really heavy. I want to really saturate those walls and get them soaking wet with paint, uh, not to the point that it's going to run, but pretty close to that point. So I'm going to be using a 1221 tip again with my 30 inch extension. This house, the ceilings are going to be pure white, so we'll be spraying those after we do the walls. So I'm going to be doing my walls first and then I'll be spraying my ceilings. The trim is actually a stain package. Everything's going to be stained and lacquered and the builder on this job wants it all stained and lacquered down and then installed. So uh, we're just painting the walls on this job and they're doing the stain and lacquer package themselves. But if I was actually doing the stain and lacquer package myself, I'd install all the trim, stain and lacquer it, then I'd do my walls and ceilings. And But um, we're not doing that here. We're just doing the walls and ceilings and we're doing them two colors. So I'm going to be spraying my walls and then I'll be masking my walls, dropping it with plastic and then spraying my ceilings. But we'll give the walls a day to dry and then we'll come back and spray the ceilings. So once again, I got my sprayer set up out there. I just uh, quickly cleaned it out and now we've got our top coat loaded into it and I'll begin spraying it. It's set up at 2200 PSI and I'll play around with uh, the pressure but it's going to be somewhere between 2200 and 3000 PSI. I'll be using a 1221 tip, a 30 inch gun extension. Don't forget all those tools and accessories can be purchased on my tool store. You can just click on my tool store link right there that will take you right to my tool store where you can purchase any of my tools and accessories. And so here we go. I don't got to spray the ceiling, so I'll be just doing the walls and we'll be saturating those walls. Here we go. And once again, this process is a lot like doing the PVA primer, but just a lot slower. We're getting our sprayer set up here now, getting our uh, product uh, set up in here. We're using a product from Sherwin Williams called Treasure Valley Eggshell, and this is a really good new construction paint. Sprays very well, hangs very well. You can get it on really thick without it running. So prior to spraying these walls, we're, I'm spraying right now, we're working through here spraying, but we're also caulking the windows and just running a bead of caulking right around where the tape meets, uh, is actually taped onto the window. That way no paint will bleed onto the vinyl on the window. And prior to it actually drying, the caulking and the paint drying, we're pulling that masking off. And so just cruising right along here spraying, and I'll show you uh, that spraying process here, and then some of the pulling down of the masking.
just continuing to cruise right along here, spraying here, and spraying with my 30 inch extension and my 1221 tip. If you have any questions about tip sizes and what tip sizes to use, I do got a video right here and that will teach you about what tip sizes to use and when to use them. So you can go check out that video anytime uh, after you're done watching this video. A few simple little tips here while you're spraying. I'm actually keeping the tip of my gun about 12 inches away from the wall and while I'm actually spraying this um, paint, I'm actually looking at it actually going onto the wall and I want to see it go on there and just saturate that wall. If it looks a little bit dry, you want to slow down. If it looks like it's getting too heavy, just speed it up. But you really got to pay attention to the paint as it's going on that wall. Now while this paint is still wet around these windows, we want to pull this masking off Otherwise, the paint will bridge from the plastic over to the window and it'll peel off the paint. So you just gotta be really careful and pull it off while it's wet. Well, you can have a good look at after about about three hours worth of work, what I look like, completely covered in paint, paint dust. This is about the worst uh, part of painting that there is, and this is new construction painting, extremely dirty, extremely dusty, and I actually don't like doing it. But I'm doing this video just to teach you how to paint a brand new home with bare drywall. And okay, now the. This whole interior is all sprayed, the body is sprayed. Now we're just cleaning it up and we're gonna let this dry for a day and we'll come back and actually spray the ceilings. And we'll just be, you can see, just take my monkey suit off here and they'll be all clean. And then we come back tomorrow and show you how to mask the ceilings. So another quick uh, tip when you're actually spraying the walls, uh, get a shop back out to vacuum all your floors. And if you vacuum your floors inside your hallways or your closets, you won't get any kickback that's flying up into and sticking onto your wet walls. Because when you're in the closet and you're spraying, you get down to the floor, it has a tendency to throw a lot of dirt and debris around if your floors aren't clean. So just get a shop back, uh, vacuum all your floors up, get them all nice and clean prior to spraying them. Also, here's another uh, simple tip when you're actually spraying. I'm using a 30 inch extension, and the reason why I use that extension is so I can reach the ceilings and reach the floors without having to get on a ladder, without having to bend over. But along uh, with that extension comes the gun spinning, and you'll see me spraying, and that's why I'm uh, typically in a, a bedroom. I'm only releasing the trigger just a couple times. I'm trying never to release that trigger going up and down, spraying, and it's gonna be a lot faster to spray without releasing the trigger, but you're not going to get spits in areas that you don't uh, want to get them because with a 30 inch extension, you're going to get a pretty large spin. You don't want to get spits in the middle of the wall. So when you're working around windows and stuff, you're trying to spray it without releasing your trigger so you don't get any spits. Well, I'm just about done spraying the body here. And once we're done spraying the body, we're just going to clean stuff up and then we're going to let this dry and then we're going to come back to spray the ceiling. And that's going to be the fourth part of the ceiling, spraying that second color. And the living room was actually a third color. It's going to be a green color. So we're going to do that at the same time. So you want to stay uh, and watch the next video. Click on the video right here and we're going to show you the process of how we mask the walls off. You actually spray the ceilings now with a uh, pure 